Obviously, in the PNW, we love our time on the water, but unfortunately, drowning is the number one killer of children under the age of 14. Hopefully, some tech to the rescue. David Bush is here. And let's establish your street cred, because I believe nobody has built more water parks in the world than you have. 22? We, we uh, water parks are us. We've built 22 of them around the world. Uh, 55 million guests we've accommodated wow. over those years. and. So we went on the search for drowning detection equipment that's, that can actually work. So we found one in Switzerland, took a tour over there, went through the factory. It's the real thing. And we're so excited that we finally got it here in the US. So tell us what we are looking at here today. Yeah, it's a uh, drowning detection device. It's a risk computer, actually. And there's two computers in here, two small ones. One is time sensitive and one is, one is depth sensitive. Okay. So you program it yourself, whether it's 10 feet or three feet, 30 seconds or, or 45 seconds. But if you break that threshold, this capsule launches kind of like an airbag and then hits the service with a 100 uh, decibel alarm, kind of like a police siren. So people within a 50, 100 yard radius will know there's something going on. This continues to flash so that in murky water, for example, this LED, you can see where the, the person is, is. So actually interrupts a drowning in progress. 385,000 people died last year, year after year after year in drowning. It's just not necessary. Not, not in this world of technology that we're in now. And good news, available right now. It's the real thing. Blue Fox Lifeline Risk Computer.